Since moving to Jersey, Limpopo-born Maya Wegerif, aka Shoma Jersey, has found a natural home in a city where she can hear and speak several languages at once and sport a new look every day. Hey! Wow. <laughs> How's it going? I'm good, how are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you. I don't recognize Jessica. you without all your braids. Oh my gosh, I recognize you because you're handsome still, <laughs> as always. So I'm getting my hair done at home, but that okay. means you guys get to see a little bit of like awesome. uh, me in my own space getting my hair done. Fantastic, it doesn't get more intimate than that. Have you mm. see the whole process from start to finish? I mean, it could Inspired by the Fulani styles of West Africa, Maya has set trends for three years with hairdresser Princess and Lovu. Look at all these colors, all of these are going to be used. Yes, for this look I'm going for a rainbow kind of vibe. But not in an ombre sense, not in like each braid has the different colors, um, but that each braid is its own different color. So it creates a rainbow when it's all together. Now the hair only became a signature thing in the last couple of years. Braids were always a natural option for me because they allow me to do the things that I love doing, right? I can carry on doing, living my life, you know, I can swim, I can play sports. These are things that my followers know I love doing. And I want to create kind of like also hairstyles that like young black girls can have that are one, affordable, and two, allow you to live your best life. Well, that's the thing, a lot of fans are trying to mimic your look, but not all of them are getting it right. So what are some tips for the viewers out there to get it right? My main, main, main worst thing is if the braids are too tight. That's terrible. Like braids do not have to be very tight to be neat. And braids do not have to be too tight to last a long time. And then don't use too much hair piece on the actual cornrow part. Princess, I'm sure you got first hand experience of just how popular these hairstyles are. Yes, yeah, like most of the time when she does her hair, after a day you find people asking me where do you buy the colors, how do you mix them, and you want to come and do the same hairstyle with hair. Yes. Has it ever happened the same day that I do the style and I walk yeah. out and then... The moment you post it. <laughs> <laughs> then people ask for it. Yes. Growing up in Elam, Polokwane, Pretoria, Tanzania, the US and Senegal, Shaw Majorzi returned to SA a global citizen and true original. Okay, this is amazing. Thank the you. The final product, <laughs> eh? There's so much going on here. Talk, talk us through it. We've got beads here, we've got more curls at the end. Yeah. Okay. You always have to add a new element. You know, keep the thing that you are known for, mm -hmm. which for me is always the side braids. Okay. Have to make sure at least two braids are coming in front of the ears at all times. Okay, yes, I didn't notice that. All right. Yes, so I that's the that. vibe. Okay. Um, and then you have to make sure you're adding something new. So last time I added the rainbow look. This time I'm doing rainbow again, but this time I'm adding curls, which I love. It does, it looks amazing. I love it, I love it. I wish I could braid my hair, but you know, it's not have everything. <laughs> okay, cool, so we've done the hair. Yes. So let's do, do the fashion now. We're giving the viewers the full Shaw Majorzy experience. Yes, okay. I love it. Cool. Boom. Alrighty, okay. Yes. So now this is a collaboration you did with a massive retail giant. Facts. It's your baby, this, right? This Correct. is your vibe. Talk us through the collection. This jacket is out for sure, but you can personalize it with your own name. Okay. Um, selected stores have this desk where you go and you ask them to put your name on anything. It's awesome. Okay. But this is a really cool campaign about just owning your own look and being yourself, right? Which 100%. Is, uh, it's just basically your vibe. It's what you'd wear anyway. It's what I would wear. And like a lot of people want to wear the stuff that I wear, but I make so much of my stuff myself. Uh, like this jacket I made myself mm -hmm. completely, like okay. bought these fabrics, went, cut it. And this is all about embracing your culture tailored. and stuff as well, right? Yeah, and of course it's about bright colors and everything. Mm -hmm. And so people have been struggling to be like, I know my fans want to like create the look yeah. and, and own the look. And now the, what this deal has done is that it's made it possible. Okay. Where now, like if you love how I look and the colors, everybody knows that I love yeah, pink, I love everywhere. yellow, and I love green. So now you can actually just go and shop directly the collection, right? Okay, are you ready? Yes, are you ready? Yeah, I'm, I don't know, am I? I'm gonna count you down. <laughs> okay, count me down. Three, yes. two, one. Oh yeah. Hey, it's there it is. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, what does this make you wanna say? Yeah, yeah. I know from, from this song. I know the words. Yeah. <laughs> Those who know know. Those who don't know will know. <laughs> so this is like a kind of casual around the house type of look, right? Yeah, this is for chilling. Yeah. And I do a lot of partying, I do a lot of dancing and performing, but I also do a lot of chilling. Okay. So this is for that, you know? Very cool. The t-shirts are for boys and girls, men them and women them. 
I love the green because it's a little bit more mellow than the rest mm. of my normal colors. Yeah, lots of purples happening out. Of course, I can't leave out, you know, who I am. I have to bring that in okay. as well somehow. Let's check the stage look. The stage look, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. That's party, there's chill, party and play. Party. 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 <laughs> Let's check the party look. When Tsonga fashion goes global, thank Miss Majorzi. Yeah, this is my favorite because this is how we know you on stage. <laughs> this is the look we know you for and it's the very signature Shebelani, right? Shebelani, Shebelani, which is a songa thing. Mm -hmm. And it's something that you've embraced from an early time. It wasn't a, anything to do with fashion. It was just about embracing your roots and kind of took off from there, right? Yeah, I had one since I was very young. I remember I got my first nice one when I was like five or six, which my granny made. I still wear it sometimes on stage. Um, so it was just a part of culture. It was a part of when songa people dress up. It's a pride to have a Shpelano of your own is something yeah. to be treasured. And the best part of it all is actually encouraging young women to just embrace who they are and be themselves. Absolutely. And I don't think there is anything more beautiful than, you know, the way that we dress in our cultures. So, Absolutely. of course, I wear it because of the pride that I have, but I also wear it because it's swag. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Together with producer Tabo Moachi, better known as T-Boy De Flame, Maya uses her fluency in several African languages to create party anthems for the world. <laughs> from the perspective of someone who works really close with her, what separates her from the rest? Her energy is crazy, like from performance as well as um, just in the studio, like she just lights everything on fire. Her energy is unmatched, like it's it's a lot, she's too much. When we're working, you can feel it, like I'll come with a comb beat and comb is something that's alive and to work with someone like her, like it's it's too much. Always like a great session every time with her, never like a dull station, like a session where I feel like, uh, yeah, we got that, but like always on point. Sung in Kiswahili, the smash hit Huku is about being too chicken to tell someone how you really feel. Not a problem for this lady. You actually started out as a creative writer and a poet, and then the transition to music kind of happened. And we got a little talk about Huku because now that's nearly it's so in Yeah, yeah. It was really what launched you, right? Exactly. Well, Huku wasn't my first, but for me it was the first one where I actually said to everyone, like, you know what, forget about whatever you're saying. Because I was also told it's not going to be a hit, I should forget about it, blah, blah, blah. And it's in a language that most South Africans don't speak. And I was very much discouraged. So I released that completely by myself. And it was just a, really a testament of like self-belief and putting yourself out there. So completely with no support, released that song and then uh, became my biggest song. Don't let them tell you anything. They don't know. They don't know. <laughs> For all her global acclaim, the proudest achievement of this hit-making wonder is making young Tsonga women proud of their language, fashion, hairstyles, and of simply being Tsonga. 